So earlier this afternoon, police released a number of different pieces of information. First, they released 911 calls, one from a woman who was inside the home and said that Mason was trying to get to her from the outside. The second call was from Mason himself to 911 dispatchers telling them that if police didn't get away from the property, he was going to kill those police officers. They also released body camera footage showing several, several different angles from the scene and also showing Mason being being hostile towards police. This is the video here. Police tried to get Mason to come out of the house and he comes after them with his dog and repeatedly using profanity tells them to get off his property. He would then make a 911 call and told dispatchers, quote, you need to tell these police to get the expletive away from my door. If they don't, I'm going to come out there and blast their expletive and kill every last one of them, unquote. Mason was now barricaded inside his home. He then came back out of his home and made more threats to police, and they believed that he had a gun in his hand at this point. He then came out a second time, and one officer fired two shots. Mason would go back into the home and later die. Commissioner Michael Harrison says officers followed protocol, and unfortunately, it had a tragic ending. Officers, more officers, get hurt on domestic violence calls across America than any other type of call. So there's extreme caution when responding to domestic violence calls. And when we got there, it was exacerbated by Mr. Mason having a, a, a dog that you saw the officer retreat from the yard. And then there were, you know, threats by Mr. Mason to the officers. The Harrison City also spoke with Mason's family and they said that they appreciated that the police department released that body cam footage. As far as the officer who was involved in the shooting here, he's been identified as John Johnson, a 25 year veteran of the Baltimore City Police Force. We're live in North Baltimore tonight. I'm Lowell Melser, WBAL TV 11 News.